This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Microsoft Outlook is not only an email program, it will also allow you to have a calendar and all the bits that come with that, adding appointments, recurring appointments, tasks, jobs, making meetings with other people. So how do we access the calendar section of Outlook? Well, by default, you are dropped into your mail section, which is your inbox. We are here looking at our inbox for the training account. And we can access the calendar by moving down the left hand side here where it says calendar. That will then open up the calendar window. To then return back to your mail, you simply choose mail from the shortcut down the left hand side. Now you can have the calendar open and the mail open at the same time. We will keep the mail open and then come down to the option here. Then rather than left click, we will right click the calendar and choose open in new window. And you'll see that the calendar then gets open in a new window, which can be maximized. And then you can move between the two parts of Outlook using Alt Tab. So I'm currently in the calendar. I can go back to my mail. I can Alt Tab back to the calendar. I can Alt Tab back to the mail. So I've got two windows open, one to look at the calendar, one to look at my mail. That's if you need both open. Obviously, if you don't use the calendar that frequently, you may wish to just click on the option and move to the calendar at that point in time. Now the calendar itself contains appointments, whole day tasks, pretty much anything that is time related. Now, if you have more than one mail account attached, you're likely to have more than one calendar. And here we see calendar has a tick on, but I can also put a tick in guys calendar. And that will pull up a separate calendar, which is this bit here. And that's the calendar from the Hotmail account. So we will leave that tick off for the moment and deal with a single calendar. Now, as a quick overview, you can view your calendar in various modes. This is currently day mode, as you see a day at a time, June the 16th, 2010. And I can go forward or backwards one day at a time to find the right point in time. Or I can use the little navigation calendar here on the left to jump to specific dates. Now you can see the current month, and you can actually jump into the next month there. And although they're grayed out, you can still use them to jump into the next month. Or you can use these little arrows here to move you forward or backwards a whole month at a time. This pane here is slightly expandable. If we move this line here downwards, you can actually see two months in one go, which makes it slightly easier for jumping around, should you need to wish to jump into the future or in the past to see what you've been doing. And you can see this right hand side as I'm jumping is changing. So it's 2nd of August, 2nd of July, 2nd of June, 2nd of May, 2nd of April, and I'm starting to go backwards. Or we can go forwards, and it jumps forward a whole month at a time. So that's day view, where you see one day's actions at a time. Or we can choose a work week, which effectively is defined as Monday to Friday. And again, I can move forwards and backwards. But this time, I'm moving a whole week at a time. The week you can see is the week that's grey on the left hand calendar here. So you can see 30, 31 August and then 1, 2, 3 September. Go forward, it becomes that week. Go forward, it becomes that week. Or I can see a normal week, i.e. including the weekends. So we can see there a Microsoft week goes from Sunday to Saturday. And again, it's grayed on the left hand calendar so you can see where you are. And I can go forward a whole week at a time. And any appointments I might have will be displayed on the calendar in this mode. We go back, there we are, there's a party time on August the 2nd. And some Excel training on Friday the 18th. This little area here that appears to be highlighted in a different colour is the marker for today. So by looking at that week, I know when today is, it's that one with the border around it. And over on the little calendar, it's the one with the little red rectangle around it. Now as well as day view, work week and full week view, there is a month view. Now the month view has a drop down arrow if you want to see low detail. So there's this month, next month, and then August. So a low detail really shows very little information. But on the same drop down you can choose medium detail. And that way I've got myself a little bar there where I know that party is. Or I can choose high detail, in which case it now marks in the party. So I can actually see the name of the task, the appointment that is in hand. And then the final view is schedule view which effectively turns things around slightly 
and you see the dates now go horizontally. So that's Tuesday, August 17th, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. So if you have a busy calendar, this is actually quite a good view because you can get more than one appointment and they might overlap and they'll display really quite neatly in what's classed as the schedule view. It's also quite a good view for comparing calendars. If I reactivate Guy's calendar, he then appears along here and I can see two calendars very easily side by side to compare what's going on between people. So that could be quite useful at a later stage when we look at looking at other people's calendars. So in Microsoft Outlook calendar view, you can see your appointments and your tasks in various modes. We have schedule view, month view with number of different types of detail, week view, I'll just turn Guy's calendar off, which is all seven days, work week, which is the Monday to Friday, and day view. And in any one of those views, you can move forwards or backwards through the relevant time, where it's a week, a day, a month. There is one quick button that is very useful on the ribbon at the top here, and that's today. One click there takes you immediately back to today's date in whatever view you're in. So if you're in week view and you click today, you'll remain in week view, but you'll go back to see today. And then you have the next seven days, which is another quick keyboard shortcut, which shows the next seven days, including today, in full week view. So two very useful little shortcuts there on the ribbon. And as well as being able to change the view of time in your Outlook calendars, you can change the layout really quite quickly using these icons down here. This icon here is the normal view. That's where we are at the moment. You could choose calendar and tasks, in which case it then squashes up the folder view on the left hand side to give a bit more screen space for your calendar and your tasks. Or we have calendar only, in which case the tasks are removed from the screen. Or we have what Outlook is referring to as the classic view, which is an older version view of effectively the same data. Here's your calendar in the middle. There's your list of calendars. So in our case, we see our default calendar and guys calendar. On the right, we now see the calendar for moving forward and backwards through time. And then your tasks are displayed down here on the right hand side. So that's four different views accessible from down the bottom. Classic, calendar view, calendar and tasks, and then what's being referred to as normal view.